Well, talk and dream jobs this week, and I love what I do, so it took some thinking to come up with a career I'd enjoy as much as being part of Good Morning Arizona. But when tasked with exploring what else is out there, I really couldn't help but wonder how some people make their passion for fine dining a career. I'm not talking about finally learning to cook, because we know that's off the table. I mean, getting to go out to lunch for life. What a beautiful space. When you're dining with a well-known food writer, you always get a great table. Such are the perks of a job that I think sounds like a dream. So what does it take to get paid to go out and eat? Well, to find out, I booked a lunch at the new Hearth 61 at Mount Shadows in Paradise Valley with freelance food, beverage, and travel writer, Christina Barueta. So say somebody's interested in getting into this industry. What does their background need to be? I mean, do you need to be a professionally trained chef to know what good food is? I think you really need to have a knowledge um, for credibility. Yeah. You know, you can't review a restaurant if you don't know what Middle Eastern cuisine is. Right. I think you really need a passion for food. And I love food, and that's how I started writing on the internet back in those days. I joined food groups. Her passion for food is evident in her work. Her website, Right on Ruby, is a true celebration of the food scene in Phoenix. My main um, focus is to support these amazing talent we have in the Valley. Yes. So, you know, what would, what would Chef like to see an Instagram picture of? Or what would make somebody scrolling through stop and say, oh, that looks delicious? Cocktails are part of the job, not only sipping, but snapping pics. Our libations of choice, the peach mule for me, and the root of all evil for Christina. It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. How do you stay sober enough to remember the food if you're always tasting the cocktails? This I do a lot of recording. <laughs> Okay, this is what I need to be coached on if I want this job, right? Look Good who's place. here. Wow. Hi, Chef. Of beautiful dishes. We are hungry. Oh, well, perfect. I uh, got a few things for you I think you're going to enjoy. Wow, gorgeous. So we're going to start here with the uh, citrus smoked beets and burrata. Oh. And here's our Hawaiian tuna tartar. Oh. Popular dishes. Work of art uh, on a plate. We've got some raw turnip. Uh, Persian cucumbers, a little bit of uh, blister shishitas. So the idea behind this dish is you kind of take this handmade uh, rice puff cracker. Okay. That is your vessel. Ooh. And scoop the tuna on that. And then yes. Right. Thank yeah. you. Gorgeous Enjoy. plates. The only problem I can see with this job so far is needing the self-control to take a picture of the food or take notes before we devour those delicious dishes. What are you thinking about our dishes? They seem to complement each other Yes, very I well. totally agree. They're both bright and fresh mm -hmm. and, to me, very Arizona. Mm -hmm. You know, the colors on the plate. Gorgeous. Um, I love the textures in this one, and there's a little bit of heat. From the starters to the best prime rib French dip you will ever taste to a pan-roasted salmon served with farro and braised greens. It is a wonderful meal, made even better, paired with a Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Chef Chris Brugman is making us feel right at home. If your home were to have an exhibition kitchen and wood-burning hearth. How do they really feel about these open kitchens? Yeah, it depends on who you talk to, to be honest with you. It could be a little nerve-wracking. Some people don't like to be, you know, distracted when they're cooking, but for me, I kind of, I like it. I, it, it feels like cooking at home to me. Um, so it's like you're in my kitchen and I'm right here and um, trust me when I tell you there's been a number of occasions where people just kind of stop by and say hi and start talking to you in the middle of dinner service. I think we have one of the best food scenes in the country. You know we have heart, we have passion, and, but we also have amazing dairies, amazing ranches, farmers, wineries, craft breweries. Christina, thank you for introducing me to my dream job and I hope to uh, follow in your footsteps. This is an incredible experience. Well, you're a perfect companion, so I think you have a calling. Well, I'll be your plus one at the very least because I don't know if I really want to do the work afterwards and write the article. This part is my favorite. Yes. Oh, oh she, there's that part of it, that huh? That part's my favorite. <laughs> she was just so much fun. And when you go out with somebody who really knows and loves food, your dining experience is just that much more enjoyable because you know what to look for, you know what to ask for. Uh, so it was an absolute blast. Hearth 61 just opened in March, so I hadn't been there yet. So really, it was a great experience. And thanks nice. to the chef for making Very nice. uh, so many great selections They've done for a great us. job over there at the Beautiful Mountain Shadows, space. too. Beautiful yeah. space. So chic. Yeah. You know why I think that we have the perfect job because we get to go do stuff like that and you get to meet so many people so and I had such yeah. a nice time uh, with her so uh, it, it was it was just a, a great opportunity to lunch out who doesn't nice. want to go out to lunch well when you retire there's your job there you go <laughs>